What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten weirdest things WWE wrestlers did before their matches. Thumbnail alone is already kind of wild, man. Uh, it'll be interesting to, to know that Rikishi was out there <laughs> using the restroom before uh, his matches, man. You know, sometimes you gotta let it out before you go out there and beat somebody's ass. So <laughs> that that would be interesting if that's on this list. We're gonna check out some of these moments where you know wrestlers uh, did some interesting things before they had their matches, man. Uh, shout out to Tap Out Corner. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Been subscribed to him for a while. Original video. Uh, will be down below in the description. Let's check out, see what's going on here, man. One of the most disgusting pre-match rituals of all time. Before the big man went out to the ring, Rikishi would go to the bathroom and get out all of his flatulence before his match. Wow. What the hell are you doing in there? It's my pre-match ritual. Rikishi did this. Oh, he was, he was serious. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Damn! But he wouldn't accidentally fart on his opponents when he gave the stink face. Whoa. However, this pre-match ritual didn't always work out, as Vince McMahon learned the hard way. And the WWE! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> My God! Rikishi's pre-match ritual Ugh. makes sense, but the Hurricanes is kind of weird when you first hear it. Imagine, bro. I... <laughs> you imagine. He just releases the toxic fumes into your face. Now you got pink eye for the rest of the week. Oh my God. Ugh. The former tag team champion always ate two Reese's peanut butter cups before every match. No, it wasn't because he wanted to eat something sweet. Hurricane said he saw Lex Luger eating the candy once before a photo shoot. According to Lex, the little sugar helped his veins pop out. Wow. Hurricane thought so too and adopted it as his pre-match Wow. Ritual. Before Rick Flair went out to the ring, <laughs> he would always that. give something to the referee. What was it? A cell phone. Why exactly did Flair do this? In case any women tried to call the nature boy during the match. Like a customer support center, calls from female fans really? were very important to Flair. If you've ever wow, watched an AG Lee bro. match, you probably- Ric Flair, he had the ultimate riz in wrestling, bro. He had the ultimate riz in wrestling. Hey man, Ric Flair, he probably got some stories, and we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Notice that her ramp tire was cut up. Besides giving herself a unique look, there was actually a reason why AJ did this. Concentrating on cutting her shirt allowed AJ to relax and clear her mind before locking up in the ring. Oh, in comparison, okay. the Bella Twins pre-match ritual was the complete opposite and 100% more adult. <laughs> before a match, face. Nikki and Brie would kiss each other on the cheeks and also spank one another. Come on, that's one ritual we all wish we could have seen. That's a ritual. Definitely a, a lot of y'all would have paid good money just to see it. Just just to fantasize, just to watch it. You probably would have tried to join in too. <laughs> what Sasha Banks did as her pre-match ritual is way different, but has some serious meaning. The saying goes, put yourself in someone else's shoes. Well, Sasha took that kind of literally. The boss revealed that before having an important match, she would wear her opponent's t-shirt. The reason Banks did this was to keep herself focused on what she was about to do and the person she was about to wrestle with. Maybe oh, you don't get Sasha Banks' ritual, That's but you kinda, will definitely agree with what Bianca Belair does. Before a big match, the EST of WWE will eat pizza. Belair shared in an interview that the night before the 2021 Royal Rumble, she ate pizza while sewing her gear. Athletes wow. usually have their sheet mail after the event, but Bianca does it before to help her relax. She did win the Rumble, so I guess it worked. Goldberg's Damn, pizza, which... man. <laughs> Imagine hey yo give me that uh that large pizza with everything on it man all the toppings give it to me i need that right before i go kick somebody's ass <laughs> crazy <laughs> on the other hand ended up backfiring in spectacular fashion the since he debuted in 1997 yep. goldberg had a ritual of smacking his head into anything he could find yep. doors concrete walls whatever yep. this got him hyped up before making his epic entrance uh -huh. but eventually the door fought back on episode of Raw, Goldberg walked out to the yep. ring and had a cut on his forehead. I remember that. I was like, yo, my man legitimately headbutted himself too hard. Damn near gave himself a concussion. And from slamming into the door. Thankfully, he wasn't about to compete in a first blood match. After this incident, Goldberg decided to leave the doors and walls alone and retired from his pre-match ritual. Yeah. What would John Cena always do before a match? Well, he would eat. Hey, Goldberg was super intense he was just all about intensity and explosion power yeah man <laughs> i don't know how many concussions he probably got from just just head a door or wherever before he goes out to his match
eat Tic Tacs. The reason was that his breath wouldn't smell bad when he got into close contact with his opponent. Which is now this pre-match ritual considered. is kind of creepy and I'll explain why. So before Dilo Brown had a match, he rolled a small piece of tape and put it in his sock. Okay, that's unusual, but here's what makes it so eerie. On October 5th, 1999, Brown had a match against a wrestler named Draws. For whatever reason, Dilo broke his ritual and didn't place the tape in his sock that night. Later on, Brown went out for his match, and everything seemed normal at first. He went for his signature ring powerbomb, but something went wrong, and Draws landed on his head. The impact fractured two vertebrates in Draws' neck and Damn. left him paralyzed. Oh, yeah. The footage of the incident does exist. Yeah, um... They, uh, I've seen the video talking about that. So, dang, that one time he didn't put, do his little, you know, before pre-match ritual, he accidentally, you know, end up injuring the guy. I, I'm sure, it, obviously, it wasn't on purpose, and they've had their conversations, and I believe they've made their amends or whatnot. It's just, you know, that's just unfortunate, man. Like, damn, bro, that's so unfortunate. But it's not allowed to be viewed by anyone. WWE has other incidents like this that are hidden away in their video library. To find out about those, wow, watch the video. Bro, that's, man, that's crazy. That is super, super duper crazy, bro. Like, that is insane man the fact that that happened and he didn't have his pre-match ritual in place damn man once again you gotta show respect and love to these guys you know that operate in a ring i know he didn't try to intentionally injure him you know just it was unfortunate and it's you know it's the price they pay to once again entertain us that's why i may not like a storyline i may not even be the biggest fan of a wrestler but I will always appreciate what they've done for the ring. I'll never be one of those people that go out their way to you know, harass them and talk trash. All this is jokes and entertainment. But at the end of the day, I'm never that person to be like wishing harm upon them. Because these are still human beings. They're doing something that most of us would never do. But we have all the opinions about it. You know what I'm saying? So, But yeah, this was a crazy, crazy list of things. Uh, that wrestlers did uh, before their matches if you know any more outside of this video comment down below let me know if you've heard of any rumors or any pre-match rituals that you always thought was interesting or funny or uh quite weird let me know down below but i appreciate all love and support guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace